meat. We love it. But some people love it so much, it's the only thing they eat. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on our couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's not often that <laughs> we film a video with a giant plate of beef short ribs in front of us. I love me some beef short ribs. And I mean, we love ribs by and we like going for prime rib and we like hamburger and all that kind of stuff. But there is something magical for me about beef short ribs. Yeah. Anytime I'm making something at home on the smoker, Rachel's like, I want beef short ribs. Even if they are ridiculously expensive. They're crazy expensive. They're really delicious. And we love them. And we love pretty much all meat. But some people love meat even more than we do to the point where it is the only thing that they eat. It's called carnivore. Well, I'm not sure if they love meat more than us. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe they just have, have decided that for them, the best course of action is to only eat meat. Yeah. And we get a lot of messages and emails and comments on our videos of why don't you guys live a carnivore lifestyle? Yeah. So in today's video, we're going to give you five reasons why we personally don't do carnivore. But before we even start, I want to say this. We are not against carnivore. No. There is nothing wrong with carnivore. We just choose to not live that lifestyle personally. And that's what we're going to talk about today. The reasons why we choose for our own personal reasons that we don't do carnivore. Yeah. So number one is probably a Rachel character defect. Okay. Which is, I will immediately push back on whatever I see is trending. <laughs> so I, for instance, did not eat at Chipotle forever. Yeah. Never would try that. My I want to say like three years when everybody else was eating it. So long. My kids were like, go out to eat with me and I'll be like, any place except for Chipotle. And it wasn't because I had anything against Chipotle. Right. It was because everybody was like, you have to. Right. You have to like, you don't understand it. This is the best. This is the only place. This is where everybody else is eating their lunch. Why aren't you going? And it's like, for that reason. Right. Because that is an immediate wall that I put up. If you tell me I have to go there, that is the last place I'm going. So in other words, anytime somebody tells you, you have to do this, you're like, now I'm absolutely not doing it. I fold my Rachel arms and I'm like, <laughs> no, now you've got to do the, like, prove me wrong. Okay. Right. Because I, I, you just can't come at me like that. Well, let's talk about number two. So for me, one of the reasons is the bottom line is there are some things that I like that people don't consider carnivore. Like once in a while, I want a little bit of sweetener. Once in a while, I want a little bit of vegetables. Once in a while, I want some of the products like we have from today's sponsor. So today we do have a sponsor and it is Equip Nutrition. And for the most part, Equip is great for carnivore, depending on how strict you are with your carnivore lifestyle. Yeah. Some people are super strict. Like it is meat and meat and meat and meat. Like they don't even allow themselves to have dairy because they don't consider it carnivore enough. Well, Equip is made with beef protein. We absolutely love it, but it does have some stevia in it. Mm -hmm. So for some people, this it's is no not problem. clean enough when it comes to being on a carnivore lifestyle. Now, we absolutely love Equip. Equip does support Two Crazy Ketos. They're a huge supporter of us, as a matter of fact. And they're actually having a major sale right now if you are watching this on July 4th weekend of 2021. And the sale is 
20% off. There is a link down below. Now, if you're watching this after the sale, because the sale is running from July 2nd until July 4th, but if you happen to be watching this video after that, we do also have a coupon code, which is listed down below, and that will help you save some money. But Equip just makes great products. They have an awesome protein powder. They have some workout supplements. This they week. have Rachel's Night Night Juice. Night Night Juice. They have beef liver pills. So absolutely great, clean ingredients, very low total carbs, especially when you get to things like Rachel's Night Night Juice and their protein powder. Uh, tastes really delicious. The protein powder actually comes in three different flavors of vanilla, chocolate, which at the time that we were recording this, it is sold out still. And they also have strawberry, which is really good. So if you're looking for a really clean beef protein, go ahead and check out Equip Nutrition. Again, the link is down below. And we really appreciate you guys for supporting the sponsors who support Two Crazy Ketos. Let's go to number three, which is I like to eat some vegetables, okay? <laughs> and I think that if you incorporate some things that are responsibly sourced mm -hmm. in a reasonable amount, mm -hmm. I think that that's okay. At least it is okay for me. And we do enjoy our salads. Yeah, there are different vegetables which can help benefit you. But the biggest thing with vegetables, at least for us, they fill you up. They taste good. We're not necessarily saying you're going to get a tremendous amount of nutrition. Like Rachel said, they have to be responsibly sourced and grown right. And most importantly, you should be eating vegetables that are locally sourced and eaten in season. But for us, we enjoy them once in a while. So to eat only a carnivore lifestyle, we'll be cutting out a food that we really enjoy on occasion. Now let's talk about number four. And it kind of wraps up like the first three. And that is for us, it's just not sustainable. I don't think that I can sign the dotted line on saying that I am only going to eat meat forever. Mm -hmm. From this moment on until I take my last breath, it's carnivore and carnivore only. Yeah, you know, I'm, we're not saying that carnivore isn't sustainable. What we're saying is for us personally, carnivore isn't sustainable. And it, a lot of that goes back to even like my whole thing of like occasionally I want something that's not carnivore. And I look at, you know, like different types of keto products or even vegetables and people say, well, like, well, why are you okay with some keto products if they have clean ingredients? Because those products make it sustainable for me. If you would have come to me on day one of me even starting keto and said, you are never going to have a piece of cake. You're never going to have any kind of sweet thing or piece of chocolate. You can never have a sweetener in your coffee. I would have thrown my hands up and said, absolutely not. It's one of the reasons that I don't do plant-based whole food. Super healthy diet for a lot of people and you can get some phenomenal results similar to what you get on keto. But when I look at that and think, you mean I can only ever eat vegetables and plants for the rest of my life? And oh, by the way, you can't even cook it in any kind of oil. That's like a hard no for me. And it's the same thing with carnivore. When I look at the fact that I would only ever eat meat, I could never eat anything. I mean, some people even look at carnivore like you can't even have spices. That's just a hard no for me. Well, and for me too. And are there seasons when we tend to not eat any vegetables at all? It just kind of happens? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. But if I sign on the dotted line that I am carnivore and I'm going to exclude all of those things, that leads us to number five, yes. which is if I say I'm going to do something and then stop short of doing that thing, if I don't meet all the requirements of that challenge, I will feel like a failure. And my personality type is if I failed in this one area, we need to just stop altogether. Yeah. And you see that even in the keto lifestyle, like, oh, I had a cheat meal or I slipped up and I ate something I shouldn't eat. And the next thing you know, the cheat snack becomes a cheat meal, which becomes a cheat day, which becomes a cheat month, which becomes a cheat year, and then you just never, ever, ever go back. It happened to me on Atkins like 25 years ago. I was having a tremendous amount of success. I had lost like 30 or 40 pounds. Then Thanksgiving rolled around. And I said, you know what? It's Thanksgiving. I kind of got pressured in by some family. And I said, you know what? I'll go off for just the one meal. Well, guess what? Bye. I never went back. Well, and my I know my personality type is very similar to that. In fact, not only did I do that with 
Atkins. I did that with like 30 other diets as well. I mean, I see people even do something awesome like that, the, the 75 hard. Mm -hmm. I think that is so good. And I see people do that and have like life change. Right. But if I messed up at day 40 and, and had to go back to day one, I just know me, Never I would abandon the cause. Right. I just know I can't, that's something I can't do because if there is any kind of outside factor that causes me to have to stop at day 70, I will just feel like a complete failure and I won't go back. Yeah. Now I do want to summarize this, but before we get to the summary, I do want to take a moment to invite you, if you haven't already, to head down below and hit the like button on this video. It really does help build the channel. And while you're there, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video on a topic like this. Yeah. Now, to summarize the entire thing, I wanna bring up something that we've always said with our kids and in children's ministry and everything else, and that is if we personally, for us, were to live a carnivore lifestyle, or say we're going to live a carnivore lifestyle, we would be setting ourselves up to fail. When we had young children and we were gonna go out to a, a fun park or we were going out to dinner or we're going to a park, we would pack every single thing that we could think of to help facilitate the best day possible mm -hmm. for the children's success. You know, when we would go out with friends to dinner, we wouldn't just expect the kids to just sit there, fold their hands and play with the sugar packets right. until we were done with our evening. We knew if we didn't bring them some toys or things to occupy them, then they might have a, a, a fail right. as far as the interaction goes. And whose fault is it? Theirs or ours? We didn't prepare for it. So I know I need to prepare for myself. I need to have some resources that I can go to like a snack occasionally. I need to have something that I could take to a party. I need, you know, and I might not be able to walk into every party with beef short ribs, right. you know, every time. Sometimes I need some things on the go. And that means I'm going to have to pull out something other than meat, right. you know, and bring that with me. But the biggest thing is that you set yourself up for success. And if carnivore is what keeps you successful, then we're cheering for you because Absolutely. however your keto journey is going or carnivore journey is going, we're just thrilled to be your friends on that journey and be a part of it. Yeah. The bottom line is, is the lifestyle that you're going to eat with your diet. It's what works for you. And everybody is different for some people eating a keto lifestyle where they're incorporating a lot of keto snacks and they're incorporating different berries and stuff, that works. For other people, they need to be a little bit stricter and not include any sweeteners. Other people need to be even stricter and maybe say, I'm ketovore where I'm gonna eat meat and a couple of sweeteners. And then some people want to be carnivore. It's what works for you. And eating the lifestyle that works for you, that is sustainable for you, is the lifestyle that you should be doing. For us, it's probably about 90% carnivore, but still occasionally throwing in some keto snacks, some sweeteners and things like that. But whatever you're putting in your mouth, just know that we love you and nothing will change that. Well, that is gonna be today's video. Now let us know down in the comments section, what type of keto slash carnivore lifestyle are you eating? Are you following a net carb protocol? Are you following a total carb protocol? Are you only eating meat? Are you incorporating dairy? Are you eating some keto snacks? We're curious to see where you may fall like on the spectrum of the keto carnivore lifestyle. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.